Hello, I'm really excited to discuss our group's findings with two papers that recently got accepted with the Aesthetic Surgery Journal Open Forum. So the first paper that we had was looking at a rationale for using microtextured breast implants in breast augmentation. The reason for this was because, as you all are aware, the world has gone away from using macrotextured breast implants because of concerns for ALCL. So anyhow, we want to look at our own experience using smooth round implants versus any microtextured device. And one of our parameters that we're looking at for the ideal or pre most precise pocket control, because textured implants we think have an advantage uh, by giving us less malposition, is to look at just straightforward breast augmentation, looking at the fold, and seeing if the scar migrates or not, okay? We accept a little bit of migration in our societies, but we wanna see if the scar migrates at all, or if it migrates more with one technique versus another. So anyhow, uh, we found that there was no statistically significant difference between using a microtextured breast implant or a smooth implant as far as scar migration. So that led us to our next project, which was looking at polydioxinone internal support matrix, a rationale for prophylactic internal bra support and breast augmentation. And that actually, when we looked at that data using smooth implants with the Durazor mesh, which is the PDO mesh that we're talking about, um, there was a statistically significant protection against scar migration versus smooth implants alone or microtextured implants. So we hope you'll be as pleased to uh, read about our findings as we were. Thank you.